So it is 7.30 on a Sunday morning, and you might be asking yourself, why, Graham? Are you awake at 7.30 on a Sunday of a long weekend, no less? Excellent question. It's because I'm waiting for Ian to pick me up. Now, why is Ian picking me up? That's an excellent question also. Good morning, Ian. Good morning, Graham. Well, I think I'll let Ian explain. Boy, you really do feel like you're interacting with the street in this car. Where are we going? We're going to the Juan de Fuca Recreation Center Public Library parking lot for the West Shore Victoria Swap and Shop. It's, it's a swap and a shop. Now, for years in the summer, Victoria used to host the Swap and Shop out at Western Speedway. Mm -hmm. uh, we had our own racetrack. We did, and then yeah. Victoria decided that that was too fast. Yeah, got to slow that down. So Western Speedway is no longer a, a going concern, unfortunately. But the Swap and Shop uh, yet lives on. And I haven't been to the Swap and Shop, I would say, in over a decade. At, at least. Very excited to uh, give it a try. And then three years of ongoing life happened, mm -hmm. and now it's back. It might have just been one summer, you know? It's, it's hard to remember. <laughs> but a friend of mine and I and uh, James also used to go out there sometimes and just, you know, look for stuff. And now why is this myself and Ian going to the Swap and Shop? Well, because we were discussing what would be an interesting thing to do for a video for Loading Ready Live. And Ian suggested, well, why not the West Shore Swap and Shop? And everybody said, oh, that's a, what a great idea. And then we said, great, who wants to do that? And only Ian and I wanted to get up at 7.30 on a Sunday and even wanted to as a stretch. But it, here we are. Now, do we have a goal for today. Oh. Is there something that we're trying to find? I'm going to try to find something, honestly, that I'm not upset bringing home. <laughs> That's, I appreciate how low you've set the bar. <laughs> oh, believe me, I've spent a very long time recently trying to get things out of my home. Yep. So bringing something in is a huge decision. I, I mean, similarly, we're about to move moon bases at time of recording. And uh, James and Kathleen especially have been putting a lot of work into various parts of the moon base, uh, Matt Jordan helping out with the prop room as well, to excise things. But what if I bring something to add to the moon base? <laughs> like a piece, like a, like, Something decorative, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's intended as a piece of decor or if it's just a neat object, you know, something to live in the new moon base where we'll have more room to fill with trash. Sort of a housewarming present. Very, yes, exactly. All right, yes. I'm going to look for some kind of moon base Mark VI housewarming present. I can get on board with that. There it is. Swap shop market every Sunday, 812. Swap shop market every Sunday. Small car parking. All right, are we ready to swap or shop or both at the same time? Uh, I think I can handle them serially. All right, let's try it. Here's a question I didn't think of until just now. Do we need cash? Yes. Fart. Taken care of. Oh, good, okay. Because I sure, sure didn't. Oh, there's a lineup. Ooh. Now, is that a lineup to get in or a lineup for the deeply mediocre coffee? Well, given that I think that the sellers have to be here at 7 a.m., this is the line to get in. Ah, okay. Might be the opening rush. Oh, you want to get to the swap and shop early, you see. So I didn't realize that it had gotten gotten so corporate know that there's a West Shore Swap and Shop Swap Shop Market Society thing. I'm impressed with the yeah. level of branding they've got here with these flags. It feels like a real thing. I love that their logo is a big top. <laughs> That's never existed. <laughs> is that a piece of scrimshaw? It looks enormous. 
Yeah, so I think we arrived at just the right time. There's now as much line behind us as there is in front of us, and it's growing rapidly. I don't know what you're supposed to look for. Like, why do you, why should I be concerned about being an early bird for this? Do I need to rush something? I see someone unloading a bunch of Funko Pops, so I assume not, <laughs> but there's uh, other stuff that looks interesting. If there's one thing I can tell about what's gonna go on today, it's that quantities will be limited. <laughs> So far, I can see two tables of antiques, a Funko Pop, and it looks like someone doing homemade hot sauces. Ooh. So it's quite a variety. Telescopes and guitars abound. It's always a fun game to uh, play who's here for just browsing and who's here in a professional capacity for resale. Yeah, who's trying to like make make this their job? But it seems like it seems like the people that are doing this. Wouldn't they be selling here? Isn't this where you come to sell these things? Or I guess, I guess there's just different markets. Some people are going to the swap and shop to get good deals to sell at other things like this. It's weird how much the trash treasure parable actually applies. Yeah, it is also so much windier than I thought it was going to be today. But that's fine. Keeps the smell down. <laughs> not, not recorded. A very farty air horn to open the event. <laughs> Okay, you gotta make that air horn last all season. Oh, there we go. Two, two. All right, well, where do we start? Uh, well, straight ahead seems strong. This looks like, I mean, it's a, I'd say it's a modest circuit, but I guess let's get, let's get cracking. We got new stuff, we got old stuff, we got bread, we've got plants? photo albums, we've got plants, cactus, all kinds of things. Hey, I might come home with a plant today. I don't know where to start. <laughs> let's get a coffee. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> This looks like, like glasses my parents have. <gasps> Bunnykins! Ooh! It's kissing its stopper, so it's just making an offer. <laughs> <laughs> Mid-century cloche is very nice. It does say move e light. Acme light, move e light, Chicago. Liquidation sale today! This is an uh, actual right. piece of filming equipment. It is, yeah. <laughs> It's got a tripod screw on it and everything. It's a set of six Treasure Island tumblers, I think. Oh my gosh, did they... Oh, okay, they're all the same. They're all the same. I was really hoping it would depict the story over the course of their drinks for the night. The stations of Long John Silver. <laughs> he killed a ghost. <laughs> Good for him. The idea of a piece of, you know, vintage filming equipment, it, it, it has incredible draw, but also... It takes four incandescent bulbs, and I don't know when we would use it. Oh, God, no. I don't think we could even hook that up to the light switches of the LEDs we have. No, and it's not DMX controlled, and yeah, the whole thing. Very cool, though. Oh. I think they're... Look at that. What an interesting lug design. If I may, I think they're supposed to... Oh, am I holding it backwards? I oh, think, that makes more sense. Yeah, so that you get more of the uh, the warming effect. I see. That's, kept, that's really cool. I like that. <laughs> Here, there's a typewriter on the ground, I noticed, that seems like in pretty good condition. A typewriter? Yeah. A full-on Remington Ooh. typewriter. You can tell that this is a vintage typewriter because it doesn't have the exclamation point. <laughs> When was the exclamation point introduced? I don't know the exact date, but the way you used to make them was by typing an apostrophe over top of a period. You type the period, and then backspace over it, and then put an apostrophe, and that's oh. how you get exclamation. Today I learned. Hey, you found the blind boxes. <laughs> I found a single space marine. Are, th are these the dust bunnies from the big comfy couch? Oh. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> I thought I recognized them from somewhere deep in my childhood memory. Yeah, holy moly. I love the dichotomy between the big comfy couch and space marines. It's, it's the collaboration that's been waiting to happen. That's a lot of minifigs. Holy crap. Lego time. Lego sets here. They're just in these three binders at the front. Everything's on storage underneath. We've got Pokemon cards on this side. We've got Mystery Games. We've got Star Wars collectibles on this side. And we've got artwork on that side by Chris Truly. Sweet. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right, thank you. I've always wanted to know how. <laughs> what is a meat shredder? Sorry, a meat shredder? Meat shredder. How does this work? 
I unironically do need a meat shredding solution, but I have no idea what that is. And it's so lightweight, it can't be that amazing. No, probably not. Hard to find reviews on things you find at the swap and shop. An unbranded meat shredder, yeah. There we go. Do we need a life preserver for the new office, do you think? In case, uh, in the event of a water landing? I mean, we, we do have at least that one crap shot we want to do that needs a life preserver. That's true. <laughs> Ian, there's a Rubbermaid bin full of miscellaneous nonsense labeled 50 cents good stuff. The fact that there are so many people in this booth gives me high hopes for something really interesting here. All right, there's a whole motor. No batteries on Dr. Fart right now. What is this? What is that? This is uh, from Robotech. The third season, uh, which was from Genesis Climber Mospita, originally in Jap Japanese. I knew you would know. This is some vintage stuff. Yeah, well, 1985, says so right there. Wow. Edmonton. You get that away from me. <laughs> Here, go to Manitoba. Yeah. Go to 4-H club. Join a 4-H in Manitoba, why not? Hey, Ian. Yeah. Open that blue box under the Civil War thing. I don't know what's in here. Oh, wow. This is very nice. Aren't those nice? Yeah. I'm just imagining showing up to a magic con with my commander decks in that metal box. Yeah. It would be such a pain in the ass to carry around. Yes, it would. <laughs> but the clank. The oh, yeah. Action. What are we playing? <laughs> Soldering gun? Ooh, that's a weller. That's a, that's a fancy one. Actually, that staple gun looks really cool, too. This is a really nifty little tool shop here. I know Alex is always in the market for used tools to mm -hmm. refurbish. I appreciate the scale of this box cutter. This thing's enormous. Have the mail time packages been getting that difficult? <laughs> <laughs> I bought a pointer because I thought it would be a good prop. You can point at something. Point at things. Also, it's magnetic in the end, so you can use it for picking up things that are magnetic. This has been Graham Justifies the $2 Purchase. Thanks for playing along. This is just Pokemon cards on a scale I've never seen. Huh? It's the mixture of what is considered vintage is giving me some real whiplash now. Or maybe just what is collectible, but just seeing, you know, a Royal Dalton Bunnykins plate right beside a Minecraft strategy guide is really messing me up. There's something that you're looking for in this pile of stuff? Something I not not only just looking for, but didn't even realize I needed it until today. Which is what? And it's not the Gundam. I'm wondering how much you want for this little uh I do you like five bucks on that? Let's do it. Uh can you break a twenty unfortunately? Yeah. Oh yeah. Great. I didn't expect to buy anything, but I also didn't expect to finish a collection. From what era is this? What is it? This is a Fisher Price uh, astronaut lady who is part of a set of uh, astronaut man, astronaut lady, uh, and a, I'm gonna say, a space shuttle that lights up and makes a lot of noise, and the parents take the batteries out immediately. Point is, haven't seen the female version since I was probably seven. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so many different eras of plastic nonsense. It, maybe it's just me, but after the second shovel broke, I would have just stopped digging. What's over here? Comics. Comic books? In fact, we have a copy of Grendel. Gre <laughs> Grendel? Ooh, and Magnus Robot Fighter 4000 AD. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. All right, PS3 era video games. What do we got going on here? Bioshock, New Vegas, Oblivion, yeah, Resistance. Various battlefields. Let's see, and real turn on. Trivial pursuit. Oh man. So uh, yeah, we, we we missed out on the the fun stuff over here. Oh, vintage porn. Perfect. Yeah, well, also Mad Magazine. 
Oh, okay. And and dolls. Yeah. And for the regular dolls. I don't. Nothing to me says swap and shop more than a m milk crate full of golf balls. Wow. <laughs> With not an insignificant number of range balls. Ian, are you in the market for a deeply upsetting piggy bank? Oh. I mean, that's probably about the right size for a mortgage for this town, but... It's so big. Ooh. It's so big. Fire King. You think these light up under UV? I would not be surprised if they did. <laughs> oh, and then just like baked goods. Babka. I am hungry. It is now officially a swap meet or a flea market because we have mini bike. It's messing me up how many Pokemon cards there are here. It's like some of the people, not all of them, but some of the people that are sort of operating their places here are, they're people that sell collectibles and they're into selling collectibles and they know what a collectible is. And Pokemon card collectability hit the mainstream and now many people here who otherwise don't have modern stuff at their stalls are like, also, we have Pokemon cards. And it's like, do you have, you know, Magic the Gathering? No, 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 no. Pokemon, Just Pokemon, because Pokemon is mainstream enough in its collectability that they know that they should have Pokemon cards. Right next to the uranium glass. Right next to the uranium glass. That's not a joke. Well, I think we've made a full circuit now. I think we have. Uh, we've come away with some props for the office. Uh, was there anything that you saw earlier that you wanted to head back for? Nothing that I think I need. I'm going to look at the plants, though. There's some nice plants. Put some life into my, into my home. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, that hurts so much. Thank you. <laughs> it's surprisingly spacious in here. Once you get it. Yeah. I think a lot of the stuff that people used to sell at the swap and shop now just exists on Facebook Marketplace. I think you're right. It's, it's a lot easier to sell things in one location, but then you're under that pressure to take a deal. Oh, I would much rather do this than deal with the people on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> Touche. And I think for people with condos uh, who just don't have a garage space to hold a garage sale, this makes perfect sense. Yeah. How much is it to have a table here? Ten dollars, I believe. Plus uh, another ten if you want a uh, sunshade. Oh. Worth it. Yeah. I mean, maybe not today, but worth it in general. <laughs> Ah, all right, well, we decided that we'd come down to the lagoon to sign off. Yes, a lovely day. Yeah, lovely that was end nice. To a, yeah. Actually, a lovely start to a lovely end to the lovely start of a lovely day. <laughs> yeah, it was about 90 minutes yeah. at the uh, at the swap shop market. A features film worth. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we did come away with something for the office. It's not decoration, it's more of a prop. It's, it's functional is what it is. Exactly, exactly. We got a, uh, a horn and another identical horn. Mm. Uh, this way, um, someone can announce the arrival of somebody. Another person can announce the departure? <laughs> Well, I just mean we can do, you know, we can do like a, you know, a big, bold medieval entrance for someone. Flanked by two buglers. Yeah. The man claims that these work and he's tried them and I'm not going to test those now because uh, these have not been cleaned. I believe him. I believe him. But I do not trust him. No, I'll work on my embouchure before I, uh, before I give it a shot. I also got, for me, some teak napkin rings. They were five dollars. Oh, and, and some BC Ferries Hot Wheels cars that they used to sell in the gift shop on the ferry because I went, oh, these are funny. And the guy went, they're a dollar. And I was like, well. At this point, we're obligated. It's 25 cents a car at that point. He was just keen to sell stuff. Mm -hmm. I like that there was people that were just keen to get rid of stuff. <laughs> they didn't want to, they didn't want to have to put up with it and carry it home. Yeah. So. I don't know, what, do you end up with anything interesting? I got a pin that says I'm the president. I, I believe it. I believe it. The pin wouldn't lie. Yeah. 
So yeah, that was that was a that was a fascinating time. It is windy, as you might be able to tell. Yeah. Um, thanks, thanks, wind, for uh, supporting me in that. Um, but that's it. We did the we did the thing. We went to the swap and shop, and we bought some stuff, and uh, now we're done. We swapped. We shopped. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Sunday, every market shop swap. <laughs>